ladies and gentlemen, it is game number two of PTA versus WND. Of course, remember, PTA starts with the 1-0 advantage from staying on the winner's bracket side and then winning game one. For PTA, we got Daring, Marceau, Kleber, Harugamo, Petro, Des Moines, Moskva, and Double St. Vincent. For the side of WND, Gearing, Gearing, Marceau, Kleber, Stalingrad, St. Vincent, Des Moines, Des Moines, and then, of course, the St. Vincents. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch the big screen see how they split these up. I always love seeing how they choose to split up. So as we look at this, ladies and gentlemen, big push from WND up towards A right now. Five ships there. Looks like the St. Vincent's going to stay mostly still, and then three ships hard down to C. Looks like they're going to try to get the Des Moines and Gearing for WND down to that uh, J line, but we'll watch. Heavy, heavy push up to A for the side of PTA. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ships heading that way. Looks like the Petro is going to cut off back into mid to help the Daring as they push in challenge in towards B. But they are basically giving up C completely. There's no, con like, there's not going to be any contest. And so, how long will it take WND to realize this and be moved down? Now, let's watch in because here comes the big first fight. Uh, Kleber, going to be spotted out by Marceau Kleber. And Mix uh, is going to be in a really big problem spot here when he gets spotted. He's turning out, but he's got to be careful. There's the spotting. He spots the Marceau. He hasn't spotted the Kleber behind him. Does he decide to open up fire? Doesn't look like he is. And this actually might work out really well still for WND. Because the Marceau doesn't go in for the push. They get about 2k off him. And the Kleber is able to cap. That'll be two early caps for WND. That's a big advantage. That's a very big advantage. Now, the two caps taken, Petro and Daring forced up, and this is going to be a problem having a Petro of Blood Legends sitting in B. A is going to be lost at some point, and the downside is that to come north uh, is a lot harder into B. I've talked about this before, but having to try to come into B from down here where you have no island cover versus stuff that can sit on that island is never a fun time. Colbert has been spotted, though. Colbert is starting to take damage firing back in he is on the run he is going to be in a world of hurt here because they've got four five ships all shooting at him already down to fourteen thousand. only saving grace for him is the fact that the harugamo smoked up and the marceaus ran to that northern island so he was able to get out safely otherwise he would not be at twelve thousand health he would be at the bottom of the ocean right now So as we continue to watch this, we can see the shots coming in. They see the St. Vincent. St. Vincent taking a lot. Oh, the Harugamo takes a Torp. And that Torp is going to be absolutely monumental. He's still at 15,000 health, but it does lower his ability and desire to take engagements now with the fact that he took so much damage. And now let's keep an eye out here. We see this push forward. They figured out really quickly there's nothing at sea. And they spot all... Right now, they've seen most of the enemy ships at one point or another so you can see that push coming up and so this fight is going to be really decided at b because there's no way for pta to do anything uh at c right now their closest ship is the saint vincent of angelstone who has to back off and angelstone 
down to 79,000, or still at 79,000 health. Doesn't take any on those shots. Gotta keep an eye. Here come the conga line torps from the Daring. St. Vincent is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. St. Vincent know these are coming, ladies and gentlemen. He's going forward. He looks like he might just get out of that because that, of that speed boost. Yeah, he looks like he's going to get out of that safely. Petro is going to radar. Petro is going to find the Clubera of Mixa, having pushed south. And the St. Vincent of Alive and Dry is not necessarily going to be alive for too much longer if this focus fire keeps going. A being capped, that'll start to lower the points lead, which has now crested 500 points for the side of W and D versus just 390 for the side of PTA right now. Decent chunk on to Fazzy from Angelstone. Let's see where the push comes now. And how they are able to make this work. So, Cap of B being contested, which will keep that point lead at about 126. St. Vincent hasn't used a heal yet. Des Moines, of course, starting to open up on him. But that Petro becomes the challenge, because how do you get that Petro out? Because every time you're forced to duck out of B because of the Daring, or the Petro Radar, or as the Moskva gets closer, that points lead is going to slowly but surely lower. And uh, Stalingrad also taking a lot of damage there, Jedi. Blood Legend is down to 55,000. He is taking a fair chunk there. They're trying to work him down. Surprise the Des Moines only going for AP and not trying to go HE there. They do get him down to 52,000 and change, though, the heal's in. But yeah, so the problem for W and D here is every time they have to leave B, that points lead shrinks. And they're also having their northern force just run straight down the map right now as they're down 50,000 health. Shots in on the Petro. They're starting to try to whittle him down. They do get a fire on him, which is actually big. And he's going to fo move forward, try to stay out of a spot where he can be hit. Now this just becomes a very narrow. Petro can radar, but they're choosing not to yet. They want to hold it. And that's a decent chunk off the Petro for the side of WND as they continue to try to find a spot and hold. Expect to see a couple things here. I'm expecting to see the Des Moines hold on this island as a point where he can say you can't go forward. And keep an eye on the St. Vincent and Des Moines here as this fight continues to engage. But right now, let's keep an eye on the Colbert. Mixa, down another chunk, and this is what I'm talking about. You get spotted, you get hurt. Petro down to 28,000. Shells are in, they're going to miss. They get the Harugamo of Vile 9, though. I'm, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, where did that... Oh, they burned him out in here. First Blood does go to the side of WND. Now... They're still not out of the woods. The Des Moines is still spotted right now by radar for another eight seconds. And he is tick, tick, ticking away. I think he's gone, ladies and gentlemen. Because I believe he's on double fire. And yep, ladies and gentlemen, he's gone. He's getting out as much damage as he can before he goes down. Shells are out. Shells aren't going to hit the Kleber. They do trade it back. So it's down to just over a 100 point lead. But now... You're down 30,000 health again. 40,000 health again. And that Des Moines did not manage to get turned around and into safety. And so now you continue to see the side of WD forced to back off there. Marceau of Eru, the only thing keeping B from ticking up points. St. Vincent of Faisy getting focused on right now. They're still running that St. Vincent of the map border. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this choice, honestly, because of the St. Vincent being so healthy and them able to... Ju he's just going to keep running to the map border and they have to somehow kill him. But... 
I mean, maybe they're thinking we can force him away. He does use the DCP finally. 18,000 health. He shoots. I mean, they're going to continue to be able to whittle him down, but... I don't know how much I like that choice. Health lead up to 60,000 for the side of PTA. Des Moines of Kinemod being looked at. Not any noticeable damage. And the Petro back up to 38,000. He does only have two heals left. Radar has been used, which was not able to accomplish anything. And now the St. Vincent, actually. Okay, so they move the St. Vincent. This readjustment means that Blood Legend is going to need to continue to move forward. Otherwise, he's going to be hit. And that's going to put him right into the line of Alive and Dry and Stalingrad of Jedi. So the goal here is exactly what's happening right now. Move him forward. Force him to get out of the ba way of those back ships. And let the Stalingrad and the St. Vincent try to kill him. He will dodge the torps, but shells are in, and that's what we're talking about for the side of W and D. They want the fire there. The heal is done, so he's going to be ticking down that fire, down to 26,000. Hasn't used the DCP yet. They will radar the Marceau, but there's not much that can hit the Marceau right now. Marceau playing his positioning very smart. Or no, they'll hydro, pardon me, not radar. And now the St. Vincent of Fazy able to back off, but once again, Petro uses the DCP, down to 17,000. How long until he heal? 53 seconds. Stalingrad gets a fire on him. He's going to be close to dead. Down to 11,000 for the Petro. Here comes the HE. And he's no fire. Down to 9,000. But that is the kill. They want to uh, remove Blood Legend from that. And now... Angel Stone, I talked about this. They've pushed him all the way to the edge of the map. He's got a heal ready when he wants it, which will bring him back up to about 50,000. But they've pushed him all the way to the edge of the map right now. And still don't know, because this is dragging the fight away from where it needs to be on B as these ships start to come in. Petro, by the way, is on fire. It's 6,000 health. Will this Salvo kill? That Salvo doesn't kill. He's down to 4,000. St. Vincent's shots are out. This is the last chance for the kill. Before the heal comes in. Shots are in. And they get him at right before the heal comes up. Two ships to one for WND. They are looking to make this a series, ladies and gentlemen. That leads the points to 200 and brings the health 4,000 in their favor. And now the St. Vincent's used that heal, but he's only at 21,000. And so this becomes, now the St. Vincent is absolutely in trouble. There's a fire. He can't DCP. That health is ticking down. And uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen, he's turning back in towards these torps. He's taking that torp, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a dead St. Vincent. The Kleber gets him. 3-1 to one for WND. And they have fought and clawed their way back into this game. And they're trying to claw their way back into the series. B no longer being contested because at this point, the contest now has to happen at C. For the side of W and D, they win on the two caps. The contest now has to be pushed down to C, and now they're going to try to set up the crossfire. And the problem is, if the push comes too quick from PTA, W and D has this force that's sitting right up here that's going to be able to slam shells down onto Moskvas and Des Moines. And you can see the Moskva spotted right now. Moskva of Ikea spotted right now, and here come the shells already. Only about 3,000 on the first shot, but now the Des Moines just working him. And the Moskva uses the heal. He's trying to get himself dark. Hasn't used the radar yet, but he wouldn't even spot with the radar right now. And Moskva down to 38,000. I expect to see a switch to HE fairly soon from the Des Moines. Still getting really good damage on that angle, though. But yeah, here's the switch over to HE. Moskva down to 34,000. He'll just about done. Gonna dodge those torps. But here's this push. So here's the challenge. Oh, Marceau of... Uru spotted. Will they be able to kill him off? Gearing trying to get the Marceau forced away. Uru trying to run, but Uru's going to go down, ladies and gentlemen. That will buy a little bit of time here for the side of PTA, but they still need to get into that cap. Gearing smoking up. Now here comes the 3DD push, and the challenge is what do you do to get rid of those 3DDs? 
Moskva forced down to 20,000 as he continues to try to dodge. He is taking a lot of damage there. That Des Moines and St. Vincent are absolutely focusing him. Down to 17k. How well do these shots hit? Down to 8,000. There's the DCP instantly. Does as he turns. AP shots are in. Are they going to hit? This could kill, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, down to 3,000. Not a kill on that one. These shots are going to... Oh, they don't quite kill. Moskva stays alive. Gearing now on the run. Here's the radar. They spot the Kleber. Stalingrad about to go down. He has no heal. PTA looking forward to say, not so fast, WND. Not so fast. We are going to still win this game if we play this right. Stalingrad goes down, and now the lead ticks back over to the side of PTA. But now the Moskva. Moskva goes down. Lead back over. Oh, I don't even know who's going to actually win this. It's ticking back and forth. I think this is a technical PTA win. Yeah, PTA wins by a slim margin. But now here comes the push in. Yuring going to A. St. Vincent and Des Moines heading to B. Four minutes left. Anybody's game. Gearing trying not to die. He's working the Daring down. Daring doesn't have any heals. Every hit he gets on this Daring is massive for his chance to live. Shells out from the St. Vincent. Will they hit? First salvo hits back of him. He's down to 7,000. Second salvo hits him down to 5,800. Gearing on the run, though. He has no smokes. He has no DCP. He needs to get dark now. And what a crazy game. Gearing going into A. That'll give them some time. Does this gearing go down? Muxi. Muxi needs to survive 13 seconds. If he doesn't take another shot, he will. And now the Marceau being focused. Marceau. Takes a chunk, 8,700. Here goes the stop on A. That'll give more time to the side of WND. This is coming down to the wire. But the Marceau pushing into the cap to prevent it. Des Moines still far away from getting into B cap. But they're looking at that uh, Kinney Mod. St. Vincent about to have shots on Kinney Mod if he comes too far forward. Kinney Mod trying to stay alive, 29,000. The Des Moines of... As the rush comes, just doing work. Here come the shells. St. Vincent doesn't have a heal. How much damage does he do here? They trade out, and that's massive for the side of WND. You lose the St. Vincent, but you have capped A, so even when C gets contested, you're still up. And ladies and gentlemen... Ladies and gentlemen, WND is going to take this game. Gearing, not spotted. Kleber, not spotted. St. Vincent hiding. It's 20 seconds now, ladies and gentlemen. WND has clawed this game, and this was a street brawl from both teams. But WND is pulling this one out. 27 seconds left. They just need nothing to die. Gearing trying to run away so he doesn't get spotted by the daring. They're looking desperately. 18 seconds. Will they find anything? They see the St. Vincent. They got 15 seconds to kill the St. Vincent, but he gets a heal. Eight, six, three, and ladies and gentlemen, WND does manage to take the game. They tie it up. We've got a series on our hands. It's 2-1 PTA, but WND has got themselves on the board.